Today's Bitter Barista story is all about the sample lady. This lady spends her days going to all the different coffee shops around town with the cap of her thermos mug that's about this big, asking to fill it with free coffee samples. Let me clarify what I mean by all the coffee shops around town, because I've personally seen her at at least three different caribous, and my coworker has spotted her at multiple Target Starbucks. So, basically, she is really obnoxious, because do you not have anything better to do with your time? And aside from just asking for free samples all the time, she wants to have a 20 minute conversation about what kind of coffee it is, and she feels like she has to explain why she's not paying. So after a few experiences of this, I realized, like, I know the drill. Like, you just want free coffee, I don't need to have a conversation with you, just let me get on with my day. But I've always been nice to her because that's my job, right? Until one day she came in and asked me for a sample, which I gave to her. And she, like, doesn't drink it right away because it's, like, too hot or something. So she left. And then a couple minutes later, she comes back to the counter and gave me a five-minute lecture on how terrible her coffee sample was. So I gave her a new sample, and then she tasted that one and told me how terrible that one was. To which I said... Oh yeah, that's because we save the good coffee for our paying customers. You seriously have the audacity to complain to me about a free sample? Twice? So basically, she knows I don't like her, right? So she comes in the other day. Again, I don't want to have a conversation with you, lady. So I just grabbed her little cup and filled it up, gave it back to her, and because she always asked, I said, it's Mocha Java. Oh, is that light or dark roast? Dark. Oh, good. I need a little pick-me-up because this is my first taste of coffee for the day. And I had to stop myself because I was so close to responding with, Don't worry, I'm sure you'll be fine after the ten other coffee shops you stop at today. And then the plot thickens because later that day I get a Snapchat from one of my coworkers of the sample lady at the Target Starbucks. So she's in there with her little thermos cap getting her sample, and then she starts talking to my friend's mom, and she says, hey, do you want to know a little tip on how to save some money? And she starts telling her all about her little coffee scam she has going on. Like, lady, you want a real tip on saving money? How about all the gas money you're spending driving around town to get free samples? Ridiculous. But the reason I even brought up the sample lady is because I have my own run-in with her today. So I went to stop at my own store to get some coffee, but I wasn't working. So I'm like more put together than normal. I just got my hair done. Like I look different than when I'm at work. And as I was leaving, I walk out the door and guess whose car is parked right there. She looked up at me and was like, You could tell that she recognized me, but she wasn't exactly sure what from. But the look on her face was hilarious. She looked like she just got caught red-handed in the middle of a crime. And while she was trying to figure out why she knew me, I walked past and gave her this look that said, Mm-hmm. I know exactly who you are. You can run, but you can't hide, lady!